Hey YouTube, welcome back to the African Allure Outdoor Channel. So today we're doing a Nyala hunt with you. Uh, this was hunted with David Hine last week when he came to hunt his bush pig. And uh, in this video we'll show you the effects of a heavy arrow on a Nyala. Nyala can sometimes be pretty tough because they have a lot of uh, hair and sometimes it is difficult to punch through all that hair with arrows. Uh, for those of you that say, well, why has the Nyala bull got yet tags? It comes from probably about 10 years ago. We were into the breeding of um, animals for horn length. And what we were doing is we were speculating by buying animals from very specific breeders known for their big horn lengths and uh, we would put tickets into these animals to just try and keep track of them in the event that they became exceptionally big that we could say to a vet listen please will you dart the one with the yellow and the blue tag out of a helicopter and uh, that way we could either sell the animal or put it into a breeding program or something like that all these nyalas are wild in fact these ones were very jumpy on that day because of the winds with all the cold fronts we've been experiencing here over the last 10 days or so stuff comes into hides and it runs out just as easily so these are free range in yala they're in a big piece of property there um, i think we have about five bulls left that have still got ear tags some of them have grown to be monsters i think there's two in that class that are over 30 inches and obviously we will harvest them at some stage as well when we can get international hunters back into the into the country otherwise we've got a couple of golden wildebeest that still have a few tickets but these are animals are wild and they're not in a breeding system so anyway please remember to like and subscribe to the channel Leave a comment down below and I guess we'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye. David Hine and Hayden, uh, they hunted the bush pig last night and tonight they whacked a beautiful Nyala bull. We just want to show you a bit what heavy arrows do. This guy's all about mechanicals, but we, I mean, <laughs> the proof is in the pudding here. So they were sitting in this blind here. I'm going to turn around. Um, the Nyala was hit just over here at this pole and uh, if you look carefully, you'll see close to my bucky over there is the Nyala. And we found the arrow back up this way after a complete pass through. And in fact, what has happened is the broadhead and the arrow have gone further than what the Nyala did. So let's go and have a look quickly. Okay, so here, the Nyala was standing here. It was perfectly quartering away from the hide. The hide is up there. You'll see the back end footage as well. So the Nyala, I just want to show you, is over there. And we're going to just, well, what we'll do is I'll ask one of these fellows here to pace out the broadhead and I'll pace out the okay. Nyala. Twenty-eight meters, Nyala down. Hide is back there. 
and we'll come over here to the broadhead. The arrow has been scavenged. But how many? How many meters did you get? Thirty-five. Yeah. You'll see if you have a look here. We've got two scavengers, two arrow scavengers. 